Hey folks, welcome to this episode of Fat Off the Bone. And we're here on the compound doing pizzas on the Oni Fire 12. And we have our uh, special guest here, Marshall's own spice lady, Miss Sharon Crowder. And she has, uh, she's been out here today with us filming and has brought all of her spices. Uh, I think there's 44 different spices yeah. called Level Up. Yeah. And we'll make sure we have a, um, a link in the, in the description there so that you can so you can reach out to her and, and order some of these spices. I'm going to tell you, we've tried three or four different ones today, and they are absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. And, and we, we've enjoyed having having her with us today and enjoyed trying her spices. But she has a pizza spice, and she don't have her label on there yet. So is this a new spice that you've come up yes. with? And I'm not going to ask what's in it because I don't care. As long as it's good, I, I'm not one of those people that like to figure out what's in something because... These spices you can order for her are less than six dollars for this is a seven ounce. Yes, folks, that's a bargain anywhere, and especially for something that's homemade and supporting local local business. I mean, this this is an a, a cr incredible deal. Um, so we're gonna try that, and we've got the only we got it up to speed. And uh, Sharon, what I like to do is I'm going to use the rest, or I'm gonna use this pre-made dough. Okay. So. What made you uh, What made you think about a pizza spice? You cook a lot of pizzas, or, or what's you know, the deal? I was talking to you on the phone. Oh, really? And you, said, and you said, not the phone, but on Facebook, and you said that you would like to have a pizza spice. So, with that being said, I decided to create you a pizza spice. Well, so, this is for my own creation? Yes. Well, God, that's, uh, that's, that's great. I didn't, that's the first time I've heard that story today. So, maybe that can go right along with... Uh, our uh, more better, more better barbecue sauce that we make. Okay. And so maybe that could. I'm unofficially gonna call it more better, level up, more better pizza spice. Oh, cool. So that now what? Good. What would that go with? I mean, what is there? I guess what I'm asking is, we're gonna use a little bit of pepperoni and cheese. Okay. Um, would it complement anything? Not telling me what's in it. What? What, do, what other what ingredients do you have in there that you think would complement what kind of toppings? Um, Is that I don't want to put you on the spot here, but maybe I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> time would go on meats. Right. Um. You know what? I can't really tell you. All okay, I know well, is one well, of them is, is time. Well, I opened it up and uh, sure did smell good, and we even tasted a little bit, and it was good. So we're we're gonna stretch this pizza out. Remember. If you, these little onis, I, I really enjoy them. This is the first time you've seen a little wood fire pizza like this? Yes. And it just uses our pellets. This one fires from our pellets that we use in our smokers. So you have a, whichever brand of smoker that you have or pellet smoker. So. Don't have one. You don't have to. You're going to have to get one. Let me get one. My pizzas always end up a little oblong for some reason. That's fine, so we're gonna put a little bit. I tell you what, if you wanna put some uh, if you wanna take some of those pearls there in front, and if you wanna sprinkle some of those around on this pizza, I'm gonna take my handy little Swiss Army knife. I like to take my pepperoni and cut up in a little bit smaller pieces, especially when I get it when, when I get bigger pieces. It just I'm pretty sure it's gonna taste really awesome. Oh it will. I, I can't wait to try this spice. Yo, that's great. We're just going to layer some of this in here. And Thank you for inviting me today. Well, you're, oh, this has been a pleasure and a, and a surprise for you to be here today. This was a last minute. So you put on however much you think it's going to take. And remember, a little good, a lot's got to be bad. We, got, oh, we have some taste testers off camera here. I told I told uh, I told Sharon earlier she she'll have some stories with, uh, with some of her friends on some of the people she hung out with this Saturday afternoon. So uh, we got a we got quite an eclectic crowd here. So we're gonna we're gonna move around and put this on the uh, put this in the oven and we'll be right back to show you that. All right. All right. We're ready to put this pizza over here in this little fire of twelve. And I just tested it or checked it. 785 degrees. Boy, that's hot. 
we're going we're gonna to put our pizza right in here. And then we're going to have to move that thing around because it won't take but about a minute and a half for that pizza to cook. And we're going to, I'll be right back. I'm going to move it around. We won't show you all that. But we'll be right back when the pizza comes out. Daddy. All right, folks, so it's been about a minute and a half. Daddy. And we are going to Daddy. Daddy. get our pizza out. Perfect crust. We're going to see how this is. Be right back. Yeah. All right, Sharon. Pizza come out. It's been there about two minutes. It cooked about <laughs> 750 degrees. It smells good. You smell the spices coming off of there. So let's uh, we'll cut this perfect crust. We'll cut this up. Bottom of the crust is perfect. Mm. Mm. That's good. Hey, you folks out there in YouTube land, make sure you hit uh, the subscribe button. It's free. We try to post up a couple videos every week. And this has been another episode of Fat Off the Bone with Marshall's own spice lady, Miss Sharon Crowder. Y'all cook some good food and make your mouth happy. See you.